I don't know about you, but I have an ever-growing library of AUV3 apps. And the more I get, the harder it gets to find exactly what I'm looking for, because I can only remember so many names and their functions. Well, there is an app now that will help you with that. So if I go into the insert effect slot here inside AUM and I pull down so I get the search bar, I could just type in what I'm looking for. But when I don't know what I'm looking for, I can't type it in. And then I'll have to go in here and scroll and look. And that's boring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press in here, get the keyboard. And if I long press here, you can see that I have Swedish keyboard, emoji keyboard, English, and then AUBE. And this keyboard can be installed after purchasing the AUBE app, which is an AUV3 librarian. And what can you do with this? So since we're in an effect slot, I've made sure to select the effects tab. And if we look down here, we have dynamic, spectral, time, mod, multi, and utilities. Well, if we jump over to time, here are all the time related AUV3s. But what if we wanted to find something more specific, like a reverb? Well, we just go up to the filter here and we select reverb. And what do you know? Now we have reverbs. So now we can just select one of them and it will type out the name and instantly find the app you're looking for. We can delete stuff by doing that over here. And then we could just go to the top where I've got EOS 2 here and it's got a star next to it. This means that this is one of my favorites. Favorites always get placed at the top of the list. And I'll show you how to do that. I'll also show you how you install the keyboard plugin. Now the AUBE app can be run in a standalone mode. And when you start it up, it will go through all of your AUV3s and categorize them. What we can see here on the first page are the favorites that I've selected. And there's space for many more of those. These are the ones that I've selected so far. And as you can see right now, I've got 449 AUV3s installed on my iPad. For some, that might be a lot. For others, that's kind of small. Now in here, we have the big categories like effect and instrument down here. And then inside these tabs, we have categories like synth, drum, sampler. And we also have the filtering options up here. Now, if you want to favorite something, you tap on it and then you go to the star here and make the star appear. Make the star appear? What? As soon as you've done that, well, it appears in favorites, but not only here, it also appears on your dashboard. You also have a list where you can go through all of the uh, apps in alphabetical order after the developer names. And lastly, there is a general tab. And in here, we can find the option for installing the keyboard extension. This will only pop up when you haven't done that. So as soon as you've installed it, you won't see this option. So to install the keyboard plugin, all you have to do is to tap here. It will open settings, give you the settings for keyboards, go into keyboards and turn it on. And there you go. Now you have AUBE available as a keyboard. All right, pay attention now. You can see a big red button here. Well, in its initial state, it actually looks like this. But when you're using AUBE inside an AUV3 host to search for stuff inside a search bar, you really want this to be turned on. Because if you're watching closely here, when I turn it off, something changes. And if I type by tapping an app while this is turned off, well, we're not just getting the app name, we're getting the app name, the developer, and the app store link. And we don't want that when we're searching for stuff inside an AUV3 host. So make sure that this is on at all times. And when it's on, the only thing you're getting when you tap apps are their app names. Now there is an elephant with a broom here. And that is of course that if you are using an AUV3 host that don't even provide with a search bar for searching for AUV3s and plugins, well, you're out of luck. You're not gonna get any use out of the keyboard inside that host. You need that search bar in order to use this keyboard. Now you could still get some use out of it if you're searching for stuff online. And of course, if you want an app where you have a good overview of what you actually have in your app library, then this app will provide that. 
it fetches data from the App Store, data that the developers have put in themselves about their apps, which is how AUBE knows if a synthesizer is of the FM sort or modular sort, things like that. You see, there might have been apps that you purchased long time ago during sales and you just forgot about them. And you forgot about them because you have a thousand apps on your iPad or your iPhone. And I get that. Well, this app can help you discover it because now you can search through your library for specific things with the help of the filters. So the app is still useful even if you wouldn't have access to the AUBE keyboard inside an AUB3 host because it lacks a search bar. Now, a really nice thing about AUBE is that it uses iCloud to save settings for favorites and stuff. So if I open the app on my iPhone, it will show me my favorites that I selected on my iPad. Now, sure, there aren't as many apps on my iPhone, which is why some of them won't show up. You see, it will only show the apps you currently have installed. Now, in closing, I would like to say that there is this one thing that you can't do inside the app that I wish you could. Like, for instance, being able to make your own categories and put in your own tag words and stuff like that. And this is something that Fred is looking into. And if this is something that the user base wants, then he'll most likely work on that. So if you think that that's a good suggestion, or if you have any other suggestions, you should get in contact with Fred. Also, if you find any bugs, you should of course report them directly to him. You can find his contact info over at his site, which I've linked to down below, together with a link to AUBE over at the App Store. Now, before you go, why don't you comment down below, what do you think about apps like this? Is this something you've been waiting for? Maybe you have no use for it at all. Maybe you have some suggestions. You could also put them down here in the comment section. And of course, give me a thumbs up if you wanna support the work I do here on YouTube. And if you don't wanna support the work I do here on YouTube, press the thumbs up. You got other links down there if you wanna support me in a financial way. And as usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. So if you're wondering where my huge video about The Thing is, well, The Thing is that The Thing has not been published yet. And since The Thing hasn't been published, I can't publish my video about The Thing. So you have to wait for The Thing, I have to wait for The Thing, but it's a great thing and it's worth waiting for The Thing.